Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the experiment 41.1 to study the effects of changing concentration on the equilibrium position of the reaction between ion 3 ion and thiosinate ion. Now, before we get into the actual procedures, we need to be familiar with the reversible reaction as shown below. Now, as you can see from the reaction there, ion 3 ion reacts with thiosinate ion to form a complex ion. In this reversible reaction, we are particularly interested in looking at the colors of the chemical species. Now, first of all, ion 3 ion, as you have learned it, it should have a pale yellow to pale brown color. For thiosinate ion, it doesn't have any color, so it is colorless. And for the product, it actually carries a very intensive blood red color. Therefore, the color of the reaction mixture actually depends on the concentration of the product. So the equilibrium mixture, you should be expecting a red color, but depending on the concentration of the product, it could be ranging from pale red all the way to very deep red, almost to the point where it looks like it is black. Right? So this is the reversible reaction. And in this experiment, we are trying to add different chemical reagents into the reaction mixture aiming to change the concentration of one of the chemical species. And we are interested in looking at how the changes in concentration of a particular chemical species, how does it affect the concentration of the complex ion product, and therefore how does it affect the color of the mixture. So let's get started. All right, first of all, here I have a sample of ion 3 sulfate solution. So you need to record the color of the ion 3 sulfate solution. Next, I have here a sample of potassium thiosinate solution. Again, you need to record the color of the potassium thiosinate solution. Now the first step is we are trying to measure 10 cm cube each, and then we want to mix it into 100 ml beaker. So we want to first create an equilibrium mixture using the two reagents. We will wait one minute to allow the equilibrium to attain. Now, one minute has passed. Now you should record the color of the equilibrium mixture. Now, we are going to divide this equilibrium mixture into four equal proportion into four test tubes. Now, we are going to add different chemical species into the equilibrium mixture and see how the addition of chemical species affect the color of the equilibrium mixture. First of all, we will add around 5 drops of iron 3 sulfate into test tube number 1. After that, we are going to add around 5 drops of thiosinate ion into test tube number 2. After that, we are going to add half spatula of sodium phosphate into the third test tube. Now we will compare test tube number 1 with test tube number 4. It is obvious that test tube number 1 has a deeper red color than test tube number 4. 
We are now going to compare test tube number two and test tube number four. Again, test tube number two is having a deeper color than test tube number four. Now we will compare test tube number three and test tube number four. It is obvious that test tube number three is much lighter than test tube number four. You should record the color changes as the observation on the table on page 3 of your lab workbook. Alright, so let's quickly conclude the experiment. So for test tube 1, where we added extra iron 3 sulfate solution into the reaction mixture, and we see that the color changes from red to deep red. The reason is because the addition of iron 3 sulfate solution increases the concentration of Fe3 plus in the equilibrium mixture. According to the Chatelier principle, the system tries to counteract the increase in Fe3 plus. To do that, it will shift the equilibrium to the right. By shifting the equilibrium position to the right, it will not only consume the Fe3 plus, but it will also produce extra complex ion product. Therefore, the reaction mixture appears more red than before. Similarly, for test tube 2, the addition of additional potassium thiocyanate increases the concentration of thiocyanate ions. Again, the system wants to counteract the increase in thiocyanate ion concentration. Therefore, it will shift the equilibrium to the right-hand side. Doing this, it does not only consume more thiocyanic ion, but it also produces extra complex ion product, which again makes the reaction mixture more red or deeper in red color. For the third test tube, we add some solid sodium phosphate into the mixture. Now, sodium phosphate is able to precipitate with the Fe3 plus ion. Therefore, it decreases the concentration of Fe3 plus in the reaction mixture. According to the Schutter principle, they want to counteract the decrease in Fe3 plus concentration. Therefore, it will shift the equilibrium to the left. This way, it will generate more Fe3 plus to compensate the loss, but at the same time, it will consume more complex ion product. Therefore, the reaction mixture appears less red, or the reaction mixture becomes paler. So that concludes the experiment, and that's the end of the video.